What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be doing a cocktail called the Nightcap Before Christmas. And I gotta give Marius the credit for naming this cocktail. It is a very cheeky name. So last weekend on the Sunday, we went to uh, an event called Tiki Land Trading in Anaheim, California. It is a trading post slash like sort of flea market for all things Tiki and uh, we found this awesome Jack Skellington Tiki style uh, holiday mug. Um, I was on the lookout for holiday mugs. I really wanted to find like a surfboard Santa or something and I could not find that there, but uh, we got this lovely mug, so I wanted to use it. Uh, and then we didn't want to get, let the holidays get away without making a spiked hot chocolate. So I basically, we're just making our version of a spiked hot chocolate today. Um, and just, if you guys don't know who Jack Skellington is, he's the uh, pumpkin king in Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas, who decides to hijack Christmas and kind of put his own spooky Halloween twist on Christmas. It's an awesome movie if you haven't watched it. Go watch it. I love that movie a lot. Um, and hence the mug. All right, so this one's gonna be real easy. There's gonna be no shaking. There's gonna be no stirring. We do have a hot plate here. Uh, we will be making some hot chocolate. So uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is put our, uh, uh, put our pan on here and then add one and a half cups of whole milk. You wanna do this over medium low heat because you do not want to scald the milk. Now what you want to do is slowly heat the milk and um, uh, you can bring it to a simmer, but you don't want to bring it to a boil. If you bring it to a boil, it's going to scald the milk. So then what we're going to add to that is some milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate. Uh, what do you call these? Nibs? Chocolate nibs? I don't know. Drops? Chocolate drops. Okay. We're going to be add adding a half a cup right in there. Um, and then obviously you're going to need uh, a bit of a spoon, and you want to kind of keep this moving so that the chocolate doesn't melt onto the bottom of the pan and burn. So this, you have to basically constantly stir this. It's going to take probably about four and a half or five minutes. Depending on how how uh, cruel Marius wants to be, you'll, you'll either watch me do this for five minutes or he'll cut. But since we don't cut that much in our, uh, in our show, I don't know what Marius is going to do. I guess we'll see. Okay, cool. All right, so there we there we have it. We've got our chocolate nice and we basically made our hot chocolate. It's nice and warm. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually, because this doesn't have a lip and it's gonna spill everywhere, I'm actually just going to add this back into here and kind of get rid of the pan. Uh, I'm gonna put the pan in the sink. Just kind of get it out of the way. I'm gonna give this a nice little stir. Just a little bit of chocolate nibs on the bottom there. Uh, we can turn this burner off. Cool. And basically what we're gonna do, it's gonna be super easy from here on out, guys. That was the hardest part of what we're doing today. We're gonna take some spice syrup, which uh, recipe is below for the spice syrup, but what it is is a two to one demerara syrup with uh, peppercorn, clove, uh, a little bit of cinnamon, um, and star anise in it to give it a nice holiday flavor. We're just gonna do a half an ounce. And then we're gonna add two ounces of our um, Lemon Heart Black Pool rum. And then we're just gonna add in, we're just gonna top it up with our hot chocolate. Now, as with all hot drinks, when you pour a drink into a vessel, you wanna make sure that whatever vessel you're using is completely warm. So what I do is I put my sink to the hottest that it will go and I run the hot water into the sink to heat the glass. I did that um, here. You can't really tell because it's not a glass glass, but uh, you want to make sure that you can, uh, that you have a hot glass because if you have a cold glass and you pour hot stuff into a cold glass, the cold glass will actually help it not be warm anymore. And you don't want that for hot chocolate. Um, uh, I'm going to garnish this, but I, I think I'm going to taste it first and then we can garnish it. Huh? All right. This is gonna be a little bit weird to taste out. I should have like a straw, but you know, whatever, it's okay. I wonder how many people are gonna be sickened by that sound that I just made. Uh, it's really good, you know, what's really, fun, what's really fun about this is that the spice syrup actually plays into the hot chocolate really well. You wanna make sure you use semi-sweet chocolate so that you don't make it too hot, although the type of chocolate that you I said not. I said, you want to use semi-sweet chocolate so that you don't make it too hot, but that didn't make any sense. What I meant to say was, 
You want to use semi-sweet chocolate because you don't want to make it too sweet. And since we're adding half an ounce of two to one demerara syrup, that's going to provide sweetness for you. That said, as much chocolate, the how much chocolate you use, how much milk you use, it's really up to you and how big the vessel that you're trying to fill is. Um, what I like about this particular ratio that I did is that it's nice and chocolatey, but you also taste the, 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 the holiday spice syrup to it. So it's going to be holiday spiced hot chocolate. Uh, and I think that's all that I have to say about it. There's really not much more that I can say about hot chocolate. Everyone knows what that pretty much tastes like. So there you have it. And so then what I was going to do here is just, or what I am doing here is just like taking a bunch of marshmallows and putting it on top. I like a lot of marshmallows in mine. And then we're just going to garnish it with this candy cane. Like so. And there you have it. The Educated Barflies version of a spiked hot chocolate. It is called the Nightcap Before Christmas. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon. We got some amazing exclusive videos on Patreon, so check them out at patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. I promise you will not be upset if you do. Um, this channel is also supported by Staggerly Goods, who makes me look good in these awesome aprons. Right now, through the first they have a discount code. Uh, it's uh, SLG Save 30 at checkout for 30% off. And then also we have uh, support from Surfside Sips, which makes high impact glass straws. We also have a discount code there, Barfly at checkout for 20% off, and that's SurfsideSips.com. And then of course, as ever, uh, we are supported by Barfly Mixology Gear that provides us with all our jiggers and things, uh, and stirring spoons and all our good shakers and all our good stuff. Uh, check them out on the internet and then also uh, on their Instagram page, which you will find through all of our stuff. I will see you guys on another time. Happy holidays, you guys.